First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. You think it's chilly now? Wait till later this evening and early tomorrow morning. It's going to get downright cold for April. In fact, getting close to record territory. The record is 27 degrees set back in 1928. We're predicting 28 for an overnight low tonight early Wednesday morning, therefore the hard freeze setting up across southern Kentucky. All is clear now on First Alert Live Doppler radar after we had the rains this morning and out east of us, even a light coating of snow may be uh, uh, mostly, I should say, in some of the grassy areas and on some car tops and uh, back decks and uh, some grills and lawn chairs that have already been set out for the spring. We're at 45 right now, and as I mentioned earlier, if you're headed out to the Hot Rods baseball game, it is now the double header, by the way. It is now underway at Bowling Green Ballpark, but you want to take a coat with you, not just a jacket, but a coat, because temperatures will be plummeting pretty quickly as we head on into the evening hours. In fact, we're at 45 right now, but it feels like 37, and that's the key because of the winds out of the west-northwest at 12 to 18 miles per hour. It is going to feel a lot colder than what the actual temperature is reading. We take a view from Munfordville in our AAA Systems weather cam, 45 degrees after a high of 46 today. Day. And this morning you picked up 22 hundredths of an inch of rain, mostly rain up there in Hart County. Russellville, it was all rain for you, 12 hundredths of an inch of rain early this morning. You're now mostly sunny and 43. These clouds that you're seeing there in Logan County beginning to depart. In fact, as you look further west, uh, just a few puffy cumulus clouds in Greenville, your temperature at 43 degrees. And you picked up only three hundredths of an inch of rain in Muhlenberg County early this morning. But as you can see, east of us. It was a combination of rain and then over to some wet snowflakes enough to coat the ground in a lot of places, but uh, not too much trouble with this because surface temperatures, roadways and such was much warmer than the actual air temperature. So we had the cold air making for the snow showers, but it didn't cause any travel issues. And now things are mostly clear on the radar view. High pressure clearing things out for tonight. And as it sits right on top of South Central Kentucky this evening, that will relax the winds. The skies will be clear. The perfect setup for a hard freeze, a widespread frost across the area. So if you've set out any plants for the young spring season, well, they're in jeopardy because if they're not a hardy plant, then uh, they could be very much impacted by the widespread frost across the area this evening. A warm up tomorrow as high pressure moves east in the next couple of days, more of a southerly flow kicks in and that's going to help us warm back into the 60s, as you saw in that seven day trend chart. And this front, we're going to watch it for Good Friday. Not quite as potent as what we were looking at at first. There will be some showers with that, but not quite that much. Here's the freeze warning that's in effect for the entire WBKO viewing area late tonight and early tomorrow with those temperatures diving down into the 20s, 28 the overnight low with that hard freeze under a clear sky. But tomorrow, sunny and warmer, a high around 60 with a southeasterly wind. And in fact, after that, as we head into the Easter holiday weekend, 66 Thursday, 67 Friday, we've reduced the chance of showers Friday afternoon, Saturday looks good at 68, 70 for Easter Sunday with showers coming in that evening, scattered showers Monday, 68, Tuesday, showers in the morning, and 72. We're back with WBKO at 5 in just a minute.